He inspired America by losing the most weight in the history of the hit show, The Biggest Loser. Danny Cahill lost an incredible 239 pounds in just seven months. I was thinking, it's over. Man, I'm normal now, you know what I mean? That's it. I lost 240 pounds, and now I can live a normal life like everybody else. But this is Danny today. He's gained back 100 pounds. Turns out Danny's not the only Biggest Loser contestant to gain back weight. Doctors followed 14 contestants who appeared on the show in 2009 and incredibly determined that nearly all of them have struggled to keep off the weight. Your current weight is? 163. Amanda Arlaskis was also on season eight and lost 87 pounds. Today, even though she works out hard every day and watches her diet, she's gained back roughly 12 pounds. To be about 12 to 15 pounds above my finale weight and have to work my ass off to really keep it that way, I knew something was wrong. Tracy Yuckich lost 118 pounds, but since then, she's gained back 46 pounds. We are not normal. We have to do extra. It's not going to be this quick fix and we're going to lose this weight and it's just going to go back the way when we were, you know, athletic and in high school. One contestant, Sean Algayer, actually weighs more than the 444 pounds he weighed in with at the season premiere. Obesity expert Dr. Michael Schwartz says the study proves that it may be almost impossible for obese people to lose weight and keep it off because dramatic weight loss lowers the metabolism meaning even small amounts of calories can put the pounds back on. Most individuals will eventually regain the weight, even if it takes five to 10 years for that to occur. For Danny, Amanda, and the others, the new study is a life changer because it means they can stop blaming themselves for their weight gain. Two weeks ago, I would not want to be here on camera with you because I've gained weight back. The moment that report came out, I said, I have to go on camera. This has to be said. So the shame came off my shoulders and it's time to speak up.